I saw that time. mirror there, and I thought there was another person over there. <laughs> it's like a whole other oh. show. Yeah, it is. Oh, hey, other people. Let's be... You look better over there. Okay, hey. We're, uh, we're here on Motor City Rocks. I've got Woodman with me, which is Frank, Hillary, Adam, and Derek over here. And then, um... Kevin. 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 Kevin Cheer in spirit. Yeah. I love you, boo. Kevin. Uh, there was roses around it. He got hit crossing Woodward earlier, but... <laughs> with, with pixies on his headphones. Yeah. The Pixies are going to do a benefit concert. Yeah. Right after, they said right after they released their new album. Oh, he would coming die. Coming up. He would die for a Pixies album. <laughs> yeah, he would do that. What's up with all the glasses, you four-eyed freaks? Yeah. Well, I guess to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah I guess that works. Well, to blind. To, to see. Derek's been blind forever. Yeah. And I've been blind I probably have the best vision. We're relatively here. new. I've had mine since I was 13 months old. Wow. She's the first infant ever with glasses. About 20, 21 years old. <laughs> That'd be a good photo. Um, how long have you guys been performing as Woodman? Um, three. We're pretty damn close to our three year anniversary around this time. Our first ever show was Easter 2007 at um, La Belma. Melody was kind enough to book us on Easter. <laughs> no, but it was there, really was fun. There, there was a touring there. It wasn't bad, I think, for our first show. We had a band from uh, Austin, Texas that ended up staying at our our first drummer's house, like a bunch of grungy <laughs> Austin, Texas <laughs> Remember that? That was crazy. Yeah, what were they called? Um, uh, start with a W, I know that as well. No, Cartwright. Oh, Cartwright. <laughs> <laughs> that's not even close. Start with a W. That, that's us. That's, you know, oh, that's us. Oh, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, can I talk to <laughs> you guys? Can we do it? No, no. no we need to have that the whole long delay. I got a question for you guys. Okay. Is it, is it difficult waiting nine months every time you need a new band member? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> 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 Shit. If, if, yeah. The original drummer. He could do that. I was in the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get it? No. 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 Is it is it easier or uh, more difficult having family members in the band? Um. I well, I don't know. It's my first ever band, so yeah. yeah I mean, Anybody uh, get grounded when they screw up their uh, guitar playing or anything? There's it's yelling. probably a little bit easier because he can force us to do things. Yeah. Like, <laughs> if, like if you don't do this, you you can't go out tonight. So I don't get that extreme, but you know, there's there's been money involved in a few things, like tonight. I had to give them each ten bucks so that they would come to this interview. I didn't get paid. Oh yeah, shit! Yeah, no, it's like it's not well, that's like I'm like the, step, the cat out of the bag. Though. I'm like the stepchild of the band. That, that's more money than I've ever made doing this show. <laughs> so you guys should consider yourselves fortunate. Uh, right. Hey, I heard a I heard a, a rumor. Maybe you can uh, uh, I love rumors. dissuade it or confirm it, Frank. But I heard that your father played with Hendrix. Supposedly, he did coke in the bathroom with Jimi Hendrix. Oh, I googled Woodman. And there's an Asian band. Well, I assume because they have Japanese characters or Korean or Mandarin something Copy called band. Woodman. It's a band, though. It is a band because they had records. Do you guys ever run into them? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, well yeah. If you Google Woodman, you'll get Pierre Woodman. Pierre and, Woodman's the man. And people probably Woodman. go to Pierre and never find us ever again. Oh, really? Yeah, because he's a porn director. Steve, do you always keep your questions on the roll of tape? <laughs> yes. Have you guys considered, because all the, the Mega Man characters have like a little song, have you guys considered covering the Woodman song from Mega Man? They, they have I don't think Derek can handle that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Woodman has the real those, official anything Mega Man crazy. song. I think you have to be a huge I think they give a, a age of 12 <laughs> to yeah. play anything that Nintendo has written. Or Nobody in Detroit has any money, right? Right. Nobody. Right. So what's the best way to make a quick buck? Oh man, uh, I don't know, keep your day job. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Keep your day job. I, I don't know, I always feel yeah, guilty always sometimes in Detroit because I've got a decent day job, but we're just as poor as all the other bands. 
Probably not as poor as gardens, but... <laughs> Why is gardens so poor? <laughs> yeah. I just what I've read. I love is. gardens, but they're poor, right? It's the it's rumor. Really they have pretty nice clothes for such a poor band. They, uh, they are well. a sharp band. Yeah. Yeah, but rich people give their clothes to the South Jeffrey as well. Uh, no, we're actually true. a big garden fan, so yeah. We love New Detroit. Yes. And old Detroit. How how long how long are we gonna keep calling it New Detroit before it's like a little bit before not not so new Detroit. Not so new. I don't know those distinctions. Uh, you don't probably know. don't even know, right? Nah, there's yeah, there's a new Detroit. Wh- who's that? <laughs> <laughs> and where is they, that? They they open for uh, the, the the white stripes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, it, it's hard to describe, but they call themselves New Detroit. Some a certain section of bands, mm. but they're very you know creative, cool bands. I think. But the new Detroit thing is probably to get away from the old Detroit. Like, want to get away from your mommy and daddy. And you guys don't want to do that, do you? Never. <laughs> <laughs> well, I moved away and I'm still in the band somehow. Yeah, we kept you. Oh. Hey, you Ann Arbor. Wow, all right. Yeah. Ann Arbor Ann sucks. Arbor. Ann Arbor sucks. Ann Arbor. Ann Arbor sucks. Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> Love you guys. <laughs> so tell me about the upcoming show and seven inch release. Well,. We're excited. We've been together three years, and it's like shit or get off the pot time and release yeah. something. Mm-hmm. So um, we, we we've actually been recording. We got an album worth of songs done with uh, Eddie Gillis in uh, Down River in his home studio, and it's sounds great. So we thought about putting a record, and it's actually kind of expensive. So yeah. we, went, we went with a seven inch, and uh, Dave Feeney over here. Mastered it, and I think it's, we got two good songs. And seven inches of awesome woodman. Seven inches of awesome woodman love. Cool. Don't rattle that! Don't rattle that! So, what's your uh, your favorite song to play live? Oh, um, we kind of like end of show freakouts, but um, the the A side of our single we love playing live. We call it Wide Eyes of Brandon. Yeah. I like playing that. Live. I like Ocean. Oh, yeah, a newer one, and it's that we jam out. Oh yeah, we have a new Stargate song. Screw around on the guitar. What is that? That's a lot of freedom. You know the one we're trying kind to make it up as we go along. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit, that would have been bad. My final question: Who are some of your musical influences? Uh, <coughs> Neil Young for sure. Hit it up, <clears throat> Kevin. What do you think? <laughs> the Pixies. <laughs> yeah, David Bowie for sure. Bowie? It's David Bowie's birthday today. Happy birthday. Yeah. Elvis' birthday's today. So it was Bowie's. They had oh, the same oh, birthday. Shit. Yeah, I didn't even know David that. Bowie's yeah. birthday. Like, yeah, Elliot Smith's good. Influence. Big fan of Elliot Smith. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I get to see him. Oh, they're, really? They're all jealous. They should be. Yes. He was playing a semi hollow bodied and he was awesome that night. He was at St. Andrews one night. It was really good. The J. Reed Tart. Mm. Oh, the Ricard. I just feel like I should be an old man when I say I listen to it too. But it's like, you know, always trying to be hip. The frustrations. And <laughs> those X bands. Those X bands. Pretty good. Which you know, shout out. We love the X bands. Except that one. <laughs> Whitman and adopted and adopted son. He is adopted and I love him. <laughs> He's actually been around since, you know, they were little. Yeah. You know, he's been oh, part of the yeah. family. Do you ever shout, you're not my real son? Not ar- when he's around. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Never adopt. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, well, Steve thank you. Definitely adopt. Whitman, Steve thank you for coming out. Thank you all for of you. Thank you very much. This has been a pleasure. Fun time. Oh, uh, we should, your show is Saturday or Friday? Uh, it's a week from tomorrow. January, uh, January 16th. Saturday. I had hay in my beard in when I woke up. I need you to bend over the couch. But I fucked the pumpkin at the magic stick one. And you fucked a pumpkin. Gigi Allen's never fucked a pumpkin.